And this is my third attempt of trying to do a video. Now let me try it over again. This is my 55 gallon aquarium. Just got done from doing a 30 gallon water change. Right there. To the top of it. 25 to there. So on like that. Basically goes from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and then 50 is the very, very bottom. Of course, I didn't need that right there. I automatically know that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I got this when it comes on every hour. Other than a couple hours, it stays on for maybe two, two tops. And then that's basically blown across here. This one here blows 24 hours a day. Then I got this one back here that comes on opposite from that one right there. And then it um, blows two or three times where it's only blowing for two hours constantly. And um, I got my one guy back there. Uh, um, pepper shrimp. My tang. This is his area. I got my purple tip anemone. I got my zoas. Maybe someone can tell me exactly what type they are because I don't know. Um, <clears throat> then I got my green star pileup. This right here. I was able when I took it off of the little platform that came on to glue it to the rock. I had an extra piece there, which is two of them. Then this right here is four. Zoom in here, right there, and you can see three of them are out. One of them's not right now. Same with that one. One's out. One's not. Then this one right here. I also got my two clownfish. I got two chromas. One is hiding right back there. You can see his fin moving. He's hiding in between the rocks. And I see a couple spots I need to get on the outside of the aquarium too. I'll do that after I do my testing. Make sure everything is right. So I can log it in. But I also have a... Um, what was it? The uh, goby. The watch goby. Watchman or whatever it's called. I got him in there somewhere. He likes to hide right there in that little hole. And you can actually see my rocks moving right there from this fan right here. I said this one right here runs 24-7. And I got two of my black boxes as they call them. Um, <clears throat> I got um. Hundred and sixty five watts. The blue is set on fifty. Blue over here is set for fifty. The whites are set for fifteen. Fifteen for the whites. I'm not sure if you can actually see it. But there's actually two reds, there's a red, there's a red, and two greens, and then off white, a cool white and warm white on both of them. I got this this one here that I'm looking at comes on at 9 o'clock, 9.30 for the blues. The blues go off at 10 over on this one, and then 10.30 over here. Or sorry, um, it goes off at 9 over here at night, 9.30 at night on this one. The white lights come on at 10, 10.30, go off at um, 8 and 8.30 for them. It's kind of, it might look a little bit blue on the video, but I see a little bit of white. I see where the water's coming out. It kind of gives it a little riffle effect on the, everything down here you can see a little bit back there yeah this is 
natural real rock from the ocean. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna sit down. <clears throat> I'm actually testing my pH, which right now says 8.1, which is going between 8.1 and 8.2. I'm going to double check that. And then my temperature is actually showing 80. Um, i got my 3-gallon RODI water that puts it back in here. I noticed that my sensors ain't working now so I got to switch off for that and I'm going to have to do it manually until I can fix that. Um, return pump 1200 gallons per hour. Um, got my RODI water sitting in here. And the next one is to get close enough. And you can see it agitating the bottom up. That's one of my old um, DO cartridges that I'm just turning into it. Got a separate pump for this. It comes out of there. It's like 200 and 220 gallons an hour or something like that. Eventually I'm gonna get some reducers to come out of this three-quarter and make it go in here so it fits these quick connects. So it brings it straight down and straight out. I got two of those from originally. You can see my my um, GFO is working. I got my night light here, or not my night light, but my grow light, 300 watts. I got my Chato down there. Got my filter sock. My protein skimmer, which I've got it really up there in the height instead of having the bubbles down here I got them up to right about here is where they actually stop at so it helps get it out better <clears throat> um, that stays on 24 hours um, you see a little bit of water dripping there because with my overflow box I got a pump that pumps water so it siphons water out and that just goes into my overflow pipe and just drips down here so it kind of gives it the ripple effect down here in the water too as you see but that lets me know that that's working um, and that's one inch one inch for the line in I got that valve set a quarter away whatever um, I got my Chato. Nighttime, this is the only thing that's working, which is 300 watts. And, and I got a filter here underneath for this right here on this one. I've got the uh, carbon bag, as you see. Um, but other than that, I know when I first got my, what was it, on the 6 here, I got my um, kit here. So I can start checking this out, because I haven't been doing it for a year. And I had some algae, but not a whole lot. Each week when I was doing my water change, I would have a little bit on the glass. Not, not a whole lot. And, um... Figure one since I got a couple of um of um Zoas there, uh, um purple tip, my green star pile I figured I need to start tech testing this right here. And when I first tested this right here, it was way off the charts. So I so said I gotta do a water change then a couple days later. I retest it again and everything is normal. I'm going to test again today since I did my 30 gallon water change and I'm going to test it again to make sure. I like to test it every day but they said you don't have to but I'm going to do it anyway. And then I got the Hannah, Montana Hannah. 
I got the um, phosphate tester. Still got the sticky thing on there. Don't like taking the things off. Get scratch up. But when I first did this here, I got this right here on the eighth of November. I'm oh, sorry, that was a, that was a six. I got that right there. I got the other test kit. So this was a seven. When I first did this right here, I took the water from it, from the filter, from the um, aquarium, did a little testing like it says, and then um, when I went to C2 here, if it does it, probably won't, but then you let it time out for three minutes, and um, so you cut it off. I'll test again today, but when I first did it, it was 0 0.76, and then I already put this right here, the GFO in it on the 6 when I got that, along with the test kit, and um, as you see, that's running out into there, and um, this is my return, so I have the water coming from the return, going into it, and then going back into the return. Um, area um, which will be the same thing when I switch it to this right here three quarter to reduce it down to that and then um, that will just basically go back into the return area um, but like I said when I first did that it was 0 0.76 and then when I tested it um, yesterday yeah no it was Friday the ninth, Friday the ninth, I tested it and it was 0 0.24 for the phosphate. So I'm going to test it again today and see what I need to do. Hopefully I don't need to do anything. And then I've got my um, little tester here that tests the, um, make sure the water is right, which is actually a hundred and, well, sorry, not a hundred, but one point um, 26 or 0.26 or whatever it is and every time I test my water it's always that always no matter what time I test it new water old water it's always 1.026 um, then I also got a test kit here which tests the pH which I'm going to test this pH to make sure it matches the pH reads there. I'm going to test these. When I test it this Friday, this was zero, zero, and then this right here was either 20 or 40, which I know I think I need to get that down. So I'm going to test it again today to find out. And then I usually test my water temperature down here to make sure and I also tested it in there too just to make sure everything is right if they're one degree off or two degrees I can live with that too as long as it ain't too high but as you see that one light stays on this thing comes on at nine o'clock at night it goes off at nine o'clock in the morning when the blue light comes on up here on this side and then I said I had this side coming on and then this side comes on 30 minutes later and it goes off so on like that I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because it's been on all night long and it's got me a light up here to hey to brighten it up and then this goes from my um, my moonlight my night light or whatever it is the blue light comes on at night time until 9 30 10 30 something like that i think it's 10 30 and then um that's pretty much it that's pretty much it i do use some carbon um pads every once in a while on the top layer here And I usually have to change this right here every two, three days. But I just want to give them an overall look.
and what it looks like. It's like spaghetti mess with the wires. At least I know what it goes to. Try to keep it straight as much as I can. Like this side or here. I bring everything up. Got those little hangers. They hang in there. Um, got two GFIs there. And I got two GFIs over here. These two GFIs are on with my um, UPS backup or battery backup. And I got a bucket that catches the uh, protein skimmer. And I usually do change that right there. Usually do it once a week. I could probably go a little bit longer, but once a week is probably just underneath the handle. Uh, that's pretty much it. If y'all have any suggestions out there of what I can do to make it better, I appreciate it. Um, because I've only been in the hobby for about a year now for salt water. So, if anybody's got the suggestion for it, feel free to leave comments, give me any ideas, what I can do better, or anything like that right there. Um, <clears throat> so my wife calls this tame Dory. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Right there's my big chromas. And there's my little one after I do my testing I'm gonna feed my fish I need to get one of those little things that go in a corner so the water don't so the fish food don't go all over the place so the fish can just come up and eat when they want it I know someone makes that I'm gonna have to try to get me one That way it makes it easier instead of the food going all the way across and then going down into the um, overflow and then coming down into the sump. But I'm going to get back to my testing now. So everybody have a good day. Like I said, leave comments, all that good stuff. And if you have any suggestions of what I can do better with this, feel free to do it. Thank you.